All right, guys, here I am again on the PTR as always, and we got to level 10 last time, so we're going to go ahead and continue our game. And, well, actually, I might have to lower the difficulty. Let's go ahead and put it on expert. Um, I'm trying a different recording. Um, I actually have to record my audio separately now because uh, those first videos I've released, it was just really, really quiet. And that was just with the base recording software. So I'm going to try, you know, recording it separate. And then at least that way I can go back and amplify it a little bit. And maybe you'll be able to hear me better. So let's go ahead and knock it down to expert. And that master was giving me some trouble there. So get our dogs up. And we'll go ahead and begin act one. Is a good start for this difficulty. Especially with the new character. I'm just going to be grinding this one basically as many times as I can until I can proceed with the higher level difficulty. And there we go. Chest right off the bat. Always nice to see. Looks like we got some boots. And they give me a lot better vitality, so we'll take it. Plus four vitality right now. Very good. Don't know if you guys can hear that train going by, but it's been one of those busy days for us. And these fire bats seem to... they're still doing the trick a little bit. As I level up, I'll, I'll be changing my tactics around quite a bit. I enjoy using uh, the summons to use that barricade or wall, as you've seen in my, my other videos. But I'd love to have a mana build. I really haven't ever done that with the Witch Doctor. It's more of a, a sorcerer type for me. And it's been a little bit since I picked it up again, so... Forgive me if I uh, miscast my haunt or something like that. Or I shouldn't say haunt, uh, soul harvest. Sometimes uh, you just forget to do that stuff, so... There we go. As you can see, the fire bats early on, it's very good. Uses a lot, a lot of mana, though. I really like uh, the acid pool. is a pretty good one. Kind of rains acid from the sky. And that's a skill I'll be getting later on here. We're definitely gonna... I'm gonna try to try out everything, just so you guys can see what it's like. And, you know, just for my knowledge, there's been lots of updates and everything, so... Things could play differently. Uh, for example, the the corpse spiders have a, a really high amplified damage for the widows now. So as soon as I unlock that rune, we'll go ahead and try it out. I think it's uh, just like the normal corpse spiders, except for it uh, it drops one big spider queen. And I was reading a little patch notes, and it said uh, it went from like 1100% all the way to like 1500%. So. They're making it almost 30% stronger. So it might be a very viable solution to using these corpse spiders. Always with the Witch Doctor, I would uh, kind of play the same style over and over and over and over. And to tell the truth, that gets boring after a while. So I figured, you know, I'll at least try out every little skill and rune this time. And I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx-Army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. And right now, we're going to go ahead and pick up those white items, because we can break them down. Uh, starting fresh like this, you kind of have to rely on building your resources up again. Not a problem, though. Okay, so, so far so good. Doesn't look like these enemies are giving me too much of a challenge. I am glad I, I went back and changed that difficulty. Uh, that 
that last video, the season start, I I restarted it three times and just didn't. The first time I wasn't recording, I got wonderful item drops and I got to like 15 in the same time. So I was kind of bummed out. I, I missed out on the record. So from now on, I'm going to try to only play when I record for the seasonal character. It may keep me kind of low level, uh, a little more slow progressing, but uh, if you guys like, you know, it, it'll sh definitely show you how to play with the Witch Doctor a little better. I know I, I've improved quite a bit after starting use with him. I was always a, a poison darts kind of guy. And to tell you the truth, these fire bats are really fun to use. Just requires a little more thought on uh, how I'm going to use my mana. In the last couple of videos, you just kind of saw me running for my life a lot of it. That was, you know, that's how the game is when you're playing on such a high difficulty. And there we go. We already got our beacon on the map for where our quest ends here. So we're going to go and try to take out the bounty straight ahead. Kind of with these bounty runs, even if you do skip out parts of the dungeon, you may miss some items here or there. But usually in the long run of things, it's kind of good to do the bounties because they do give you a massive experience boost. And even with the difficulty being just a little lower, we're still going to be receiving quite a bit of experience from them. So I'm just going to go try to do point to point. It'll make it a, a little bit faster of a gameplay for you guys. I know you're excited to see me get back up to 70, so I'm going to try my best here. I, I have some days off, and I'm going to try to record as much as I can. There we go. It's fun to play right now. I love that, D. Burton. I agree. They, With all these updates, they really made Diablo 3 a, a whole nother game. How it should have been from the start. It was kind of a bummer. It, it took them so long to finally get the formula right, but they did. They did, I must say. It's, these seasonal starts are great. Even though the legendary items aren't even introduced yet, which is a real bummer. We were waiting for so long to get the season to kick off, and then it turns out the biggest benefit is those items that you get to keep afterwards. And they haven't even implemented them yet, so... We'll see, Blizzard. It's going to be one of those things. I've, I've always liked you, but if you can do it better, do it better. Always. Oh yeah. He's got some dampening on here, it looks like. And it's a grotesque. So he should be an interesting hero to kill here. There's a pop on him. One of his little homies did some damage. So yeah, he's already down to... A, looks like about a quarter. Yeah, almost halfway now. So going very smooth right along here. As you can see, my Enchantress is... I love that. they have I don't know if that's a new skill, this little continuation of her shots, but I've never really noticed that before now. But boy, did it clear out some enemies there for us. This guy's about to pop. There we go. Kill off his little wormies. The baby worms, man! Gotta clear them out here. And there we go. So we still got a uh, relative decent experience. Not as good as Master Difficulty, but, you know, for easy gameplay, how much faster did that go than last video? Hopefully a lot faster, <laughs> if any of you guys are out there timing it. Let's see here. We'll just go ahead and go to the Fields of Misery. There we go. Much more consistent damage, at least, here. Ooh, out of potions again, so... We know how to play to that, though. Let's keep our distance a little bit. The Spearmen, though. There we go, Enchantress. Thank you. Just gotta keep out of range of his strike here, and as long as we're not in poison. 
most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their name, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be mm. fooled by such a trick. Let's go ahead and get some more attack damage, actually. The large sluggish beasts can thrive in any grassland or forest, provided there is enough water. Farmers will recognize these brutes as the savage cousins of the common cat beast, a tame breed that was likely domesticated nearly 2,000 years ago. <laughs> One can hardly imagine the trouble that effort must have been. Ooh, much need a healing well there. Yeah, so your your biggest battle early on, especially if you're high, playing the higher difficulty here, it's going to be those potions. Um, you just need to really get good at uh, kiting the enemies, as they call it. You just kind of run around and circle them and get them into a proper group so they can't hit you, but you can still hit them. And these Goatman Spearmen are my biggest enemies in this little area, it seems. Or at least they're the only ones that can hit me while I'm doing my, my running tactics. There we go. So it's actually a lot funner here with the expert difficulty. I'm used to just running through the mobs. Oh, and here's some spearmen. We'll just kind of see how I'm kiting and all their spears are missing there. So that's always a good sign. Go ahead and harvest and shoot some fire bats in there. And I did pick up another potion, so if I really need to, I can use it. I'm going to. Just these damn spearmen. They're persistent with the, the damage as you're trying to run. I have been healed. There we go. So these fire bats, yeah, they do drop some pretty good damage. Now in master difficulty, they weren't doing much for me there at the end. It was more of a had to run away a little too often. And there should be a special event here. This is the Forsaken Farm or something, I believe. Let's see if it still occurs with the seasonal characters in the PTR. This beast yes, it sure does still occur. So we fight these guys. Uh, a guy's going to come out of the cellar there and tell us, Hey, come check out. Pretty much one of my favorite jokes in the game. He's, uh, it's a little morbid. He's taking care of his, his dead wife down there, but... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to get away from these guys for a second teleport. They can teleport right behind me with their little dig move, so... There we go. I am returning to town. Definitely have to get some potions. Hopefully we have enough cash. We'll see. We'll see. It's always a, a little different when it comes to how much gold you collect. So I've got 16,000 right now. And... Ooh, I'm debating over selling this or breaking it. Let's go ahead and break it down, though. I know I'm going to need these crafting resources here. So we'll we'll try to get a nice stockpile of them going beforehand. There we go. Eight essences and 12 of the commons. And let's buy some potions. They're about 500 gold each, so we should have enough to buy, like, ten of them. I have some know the true quality of my wares, unlike some... Actually, that is only five grand. Oh, we'll do 15. There we go. We got about 8,000 left. Let's go dump it in our, our smith over here real quick, and then we'll get back to that battle. There we go. So we got him one more level, and one more step into the next one. Talk to this guy, heal ourselves real fast. Now I should have no problems facing these little guys. Here we go. Ugh. That little dig move is really irritating though. Right when you get your fire bats on them, they go under. If I was not mistaken, there's a, a health globe up to the left of us here too, so... I'm going to start kind of heading my way towards that as I'm battling here. This guy should stay right along with us, hopefully. Oh, my dogs are keeping him back. 
That's okay. If those dogs are distracting them properly, then we won't have any problems keeping our health up here. Whoop. There was the hit I wasn't looking for. We could have used a potion, but we'll go ahead and grab this healing well. Same purpose, 500 gold cheap. And at this point, the gold really matters, so. There we go. And he just dropped a whole bunch of gold. Oh no. Yes, let's go meet your, your lovely wife here. Where are you? Oh my god. This guy's sick. Sick in the head. <laughs> She's been glum ever since the weather turned last week. Ah, it pleases you to stay with her. See, and the witch doctor, he's all nature, man. He's like, you are a person. <laughs> That's what you like to do. Go for it, man. And a resplendent here. We got a stand and some more boots. And a shaman mask. It's not regular, but at this level, it may even be better than this magic. So armor-wise, yeah, tons better. Vitality, nah. We'll keep it off. Uh, movement speed boots. And there we go. There's not only more attack damage for me, but more vitality and health regen with some thorns. We'll take some thorns. And I am going to be playing this uh, a little bit faster than normal, guys. Hope you don't mind missing out on a... Well, I, I don't mind missing out on the occasional loot that may be around. But to tell the truth, I'm just going for pure levels right now. Get back up to 70 here, and we can start building up a Paragon. Here's our den. It looks like there's two floors to this one. Ooh, and there's my speed boost. Very nice. It's one of my favorite shrines. Ooh, and some elites right up off the bat here, so this will be some very nice experience. Let's hope it bumps me up to the next level. Just gotta stay out of this frozen here. Jeez, they're just dropping it like hotcakes. But they should know better to mess with zombie dogs and all. Sometimes I swear these enemies just have a death wish. <laughs> there we go. Almost got the first one knocked out. There we go. Pick up some Valor there. That will give us some boosted attack for a bit. There we go. And it looks like we got an amulet. Nope. It's... I read cross wrong. It's actually a, a demon hunter item. And I'm going to keep my life per hit. That's really important right now. Even though it is only 4 life per hit, it's still going to keep me in this battle a little bit longer than it should. Kind of be frivolous with the fire and shoot it all around there. I keep missing the soul harvest, so we're going to have to get warmed up again here, guys. <laughs> As far as health goes, psh, I haven't even used one of those 15 potions yet, so. Very nice to see. And here's a hero. This will be nice. And there's a 5 stack of harvest. Finally, I didn't derp it up. <laughs> Some days you'll see me just play horrible here, guys. But, you know, it's one of those things. I want to kind of document the seasonal character as much as I can. It's kind of the first time they've really done it with Diablo 3, so... I think it, it's important to catch it early enough on that it's still relevant. Boy, I'm going to have to start running away from these guys a little better. There is one down. It looks like they dropped mortar. Yeah, they are. Molten and mortar. Or molten, I should say. <laughs> Not really mortar. So yeah, I've been having a pretty good Saturday. It's been a, a nice kickback, kind of gone 
got to chatting with some of my friends and well they they got me really inspired today so I figured you know I'm gonna try out this new recording and see if I can't get my voice to be a little more prominent I think that's half the problem with the the YouTube nowadays is uh there's a lot of really good players out there it's just when it comes to to people really accepting their voice and everything a lot of people already have their channels that they watch and they don't really deviate you know they feel like they're fully supporting and that's cool it's, it's awesome to fully support a person like that but I'm more trending towards the sense of uh, I want to see new content you know I like to see those those people just starting their new channel and being really really into it you know even if they don't post a lot of videos if they get really into the videos that's the big part They've <coughs> definitely got to enjoy what they're doing.